four from Milwaukee, Benson Hernandez against Anthony Pettis for Henderson's UFC lightweight championship belt. 2010, Pettis knocked Henderson down with something called a showtime kick. Our sports science crew breaks that down. Unlike a typical kick to the head, when executing the Showtime kick, Anthony Pettis essentially uses the cage wall like a giant spring. Testing in the ESPN Sports Science Lab reveals that the spring constant, or elasticity of the cage, is more than 1,500 Newton meters. This means that although Pettis has to do work to compress the cage wall, this work essentially translates into potential energy, which, when released, allows him to come off the wall of the cage with about 40% more velocity and swinging his leg around at a speed of more than 45 miles per hour. Pettis executes a kick to Benson Henderson's head with an estimated 1,400 pounds of force. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus. Now, for the purposes of this interview, we are keeping the two participants in Saturday night's UFC 164 main event apart. Ben Henderson, the champ. Anthony Pettis wants your lightweight championship belt. Ben, we start with you. The last time you fought, Pettis took the decision and the title from you. What did you learn from that fight to make sure it doesn't happen again? I learned, you know, to be more aggressive, to not allow, uh, you know, the other fighter to dictate the pace and, and how it goes. A lot of people, you know, um, I guess kind of forget, don't realize it was a decision uh, and it was five rounds uh, going to a decision. And in that decision, uh, the other four rounds are kind of back and forth. I was a little bit too lackadaisical in those four rounds. So since then, I learned to be a little bit more focused, a little more goal driven, a little bit more. Um, I guess intense, so to speak, uh, inside that octagon. Well, Anthony, over to you now. How about you? What did you take away from that fight now that you've already beaten him once before? Yeah, um, you know, going into this fight, it's a totally different fight. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a three years later. Uh, it's in, in the UFC. There's so much more at stake. And, uh, you know, taking away from that fight, I just, I got to be unpredictable. I got to, I got to just do what I do best. I mean, I, when I'm out there and I feel like I'm loose, I, I feel like I can do anything. And uh, that's what I plan on doing Saturday night. Well, this fight, certainly had one of the more iconic moments in uh, MMA history. We're talking about this Showtime kick. Um, you know, Benson, we, we have to bring it up one more time. I'm sure you're probably tired of hearing about it, but what has it been like for you to be on the wrong end uh, of such a landmark moment? Uh, well, you know, it's one of those things. Uh, as a professional athlete, you got to realize, you know, uh, you're going to be on the wrong end of a, of a poster sometimes, whether you're Patrick Ewing, uh, how many blocks did he have in his career? You also got dunked on a few times, whether you're Michael Jordan, the best ever to play the game of basketball. Uh, you're going to get crossed up by a young kid in, in AI, Allen Iverson, and you're going to get, you know, be a, a poster in, in that aspect. So as a professional athlete, you got to take the good with the bad. You got to be able to roll the punches, uh, man up and move on and keep doing your job, you know. Well, Ben, that's a great point out of you because, like you said, you got up. You weren't knocked out. You got up from that kick, and you made the thing a fight the rest of the way. Uh, Anthony, how about that? Take us inside that moment for you. Was that something you trained for, or was it more of a, a spur-of-the-moment decision to bounce off the cage like that? You know, it was uh, something that was in my arsenal, but uh, you know, I, I wasn't really planning on throwing that in that fight. Uh, it's kind of just one of them things I just felt like it was the right time to do it. Uh, last round, you know, I was going into, you know, we are tied up pretty much 2-2, two two, and you know, whoever won that last round would take the fight. I knew I had to do something, uh, something crazy, something different, and uh, I wasn't like, catching my high kicks. He was doing a good job of defending, so uh, you know I just went for it, and uh, it, for me it worked out the best, the best of, the, of both worlds. Well, Benson, you are still undefeated uh, in the UFC now, but you've won your last three fights via decision. Uh, how do you feel about where you are right now in terms of your fight style and certainly your ability to finish fights, which you've already said is so important for Saturday? Uh, well, for me, I'm, I'm always more concerned about the uh, only thing that matters is having a good performance. You know, if I can have a good performance, everything else will take care of itself, you know. Uh, the guy leaves his chin out there, you got to be good enough to, you know, touch that chin and put him away. He leaves his arm out there, I'll take your arm, I'll take your neck, I'll take your leg, whatever you give me. Uh, sometimes you're fighting the best guys on the planet, you don't give them that opportunity, but you still need to have a good performance and get your hand raised, get that W. That's the, the most important thing in all my fights in the UFC. I've been able to do that, you know. Uh, but, you know, time will come. Hopefully uh, guys make mistakes, they leave holes, and I'm able to, to capitalize, capitalize on those and uh, end fights and put them away. But really, it's just about having a good performance.
Well, Anthony, uh, we talk about finishing fights. You've been finishing fights early. You've won your last two fights with first round knockouts. Do you think you're peaking at the right time now to try to take this belt? Most definitely. I feel like uh, right now is the time. Uh, my, my, my skill, my talent, my, you know, everything has come so, so much further since our first fight. And, uh, you know, this, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling amazing right now. I mean, this is, this is everything I've wanted, all the hard work, everything I, I want is right here in front of me. And uh, Ben Henderson has that belt, and uh, that's, that's what I want. Now, that's my goal. And I like to finish fights. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to go out there and finish this guy. I don't want to go to the judges because uh, he's very good at, at scoring these decisions. UFC 164, Benson Henderson, Anthony Pettis. They're going to get after it. They're your main event in Milwaukee. Guys, thank you for the time on SportsCenter. Good luck Saturday night. Thank you. All righty.